Mighty Then Successful Indie Author, 5-Minute Focus, Episode 733, Success Won't Arrive As You Expect. Nope, Stanley's not in here again. It's starting tomorrow, I bet you he will be, because uh, mom goes back, uh, mom goes to Spain starting tonight for a little over two months. So, yeah, he'll be back in here hanging out with me. All right, Success Won't Arrive As You Expect. It might arrive a little at a time, so much so that you don't even notice it. It's like the frog in the boiling water. As it gets warmer and warmer, doesn't even realize that it's uh, it's different and uh, not good at some point. But uh, it could be a little at a time. Now look over your shoulder every now and then and see how far you've come. That's the kind of success most of us will realize. You see how far you've come. Hey, okay, I've come a long ways. And recognize that and reward yourself for it. Oh, hey, is this what success looks like? It looks the same as we've had before, except we've got some different stuff. Maybe you've got enough money to make the uh, mortgage payment off your off your royalties each month. Maybe you've got enough that you can go out to dinner. Maybe you can go grocery shopping without having to watch the prices. Those kinds of things from a monetary standpoint. Maybe you've won an award. Maybe you have a, a fan base that's growing. And maybe when you go to a show, a bunch of people show up with your books ready to sign. Different levels of success. It might be a big rush. What if you got something that went viral and all of a sudden you went from selling five books a month to 105 in five minutes? And now all of a sudden you've sold thousands in a day. A big rush. Are you ready? Everybody thinks, hey, that's me. I'm going to write that next, uh, next great American novel and everybody's going to buy it. Probably not. But you get that big rush. Question is, can you repeat that? Can you continue that? And if you realize that, like, hey, I'm selling 5,000 copies a day. Not really. But if you're selling 5,000 copies a day, and then next week you're down to five again, how does that make you feel? Did you win or did you just lose? How does success? Success, it's not as you expect. Will it be enough? Geez, look at this. I got a $100 bonus. I really could use 120 though. Or you see 100 Oh, man, man, if I had 200 and then you get the 200 and you're like, oh, if I only had 300 then I can get a jet ski. Don't get a jet ski. All right. <clears throat> Will it be enough? And I say the greed factor. Greed isn't it. It's bad if you, tr- if you are bad with it. Uh, everybody is greedy to a certain extent, and I don't look at that as a pejorative. That's you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of your family. You don't need a jet ski. You could possibly, you might need a new car. Hey, if your car keeps breaking down, you don't want to strand your family on the side of the road. You have to invest in something that you can count on. And your family is invested in you because they're counting on you. Are you delivering? That's the kind of things, and it's good to be, uh, uh, self-involved with that, and understand that you have to be greedy to some extent. You can't completely give 100% of yourself away every minute of every day. You cannot. That's what that's what failure looks like. Yes, you'd be uh, yeah taking care of other people, but you're really not. It's uh, it comes at a monstrous cost. What about new opportunities? Hey, you wrote a great book and it sells consistently well. Other people, hey, can you write this? Can you write for an anthology? How about uh, we do this? And you start over committing. Now, new opportunities. They're new opportunities to succeed or are they new opportunities to fail? This is where you have to estimate what's your time, what's the risk, and what's the possible reward. That's the hardest thing to evaluate, especially once you've been successful to a certain degree and you have a new plateau from which to move your career forward, or are you going to fall off that plateau, go from 5,000 sales a day down to five, and think that you failed miserably and can't replicate that success? What do you need to do to keep it going? And how do you need to temper your attitude and your, your understanding of success in order to keep moving forward? Okay, hey, that was a blip. How about five? How about we get up to 10 a day? How about we get up to 20 a day and keep pressing, add, add books to your backlist, add avenues of getting those books into the right reader's hands. There's all kinds of opportunity. So once you uh, realize some success, there's going to be a lot of tests to see if you're worthy. Are you going to pass those tests? And does that mean you're not successful if you don't pass those tests or were you successful and it gives you a different trajectory on your career?
And then what does that look like? And how do you respond to that? We are how we respond. We are, we are not what we, what we see in that one thing. Hey, 5,000 sales in a day. Oh my God, this guy's an author god. Little G, don't want to be sacrilegious. Are you really though? Recognition. Maybe you're working just for the recognition of it, to win an award, to have fans, to be on a stage somewhere and wave out to, to the good people who are screaming your name and throwing clothing up at you on the stage. Or, and can you handle that? How do you deal with that? Once again, it's a window to your soul. Failure, abject and complete failure, as well as extreme success. How do you deal with both of them? That shows that's a window to your soul. So what's really inside there? Are you ready for the success, no matter how it arrives? So think about what that looks like, and never never hesitate to look back and see how far you've come, even if you didn't have anything go viral, even if you weren't on a stage, even if you weren't that 5,000 copies in a day sales, and all of a sudden, oh my God, I, I've got money. Temper yourself. Be ready. Peace, fellow humans.